multiple project was switched on today. Where are all the grown-ups? All our teachers hear from us. It was so cool. The world is full of children. What are we going to do? Anything we like. Oh, what's happening? Just hold my hand and don't let go. To stick together, we need space, we need food, we need a door to lock to keep out trouble. Mummy's looking for you. I think I just saw the grown-ups. Who are you? My father is Henry Barker, the famous physicist. None of that matters now, does it? I've got a fiver. You're joking. I've got more. Have you got any eggs? I have. Oh. All the eggs in the city have been taken. Runny yolk, hot, buttery toast. I love my boiled egg and toasty soldiers. We can get eggs and all the fresh food we want if we use this. How are we going to stop your head, Jeff? When you need it. First rule of business. Have something someone else really needs or wants. Barter it, swap it, trade it. Well, we're stuffed then. We've got nothing fresh to trade with. So we create it. We find a renewable source of fresh food. Like, um... Chickens! Where exactly are we going to find chickens in a city centre? University seems like a dumb place to look for food to me. There'd be mountains of fresh food in the fridge here because only people with a key card can get in, so nothing will have been raided. Oh, come on, why isn't this working? How'd you get that? It's my dad's. He used to be a research physicist here. Well, he wasn't working on this basket project, that is. We're in. Let's go. Um, before we get laden with food, me and Reese just want to have a quick look around my dad's office. Why? Well, we think that the Spartacle project may have something to do with why everyone's disappeared. Reese, tell Holly and Jordan. It's okay. The grown-ups aren't dead or anything like that. I saw them. What's she talking about? In the city library, Reese. She saw some of the parents trying to find their kids. But, I mean, I didn't see them. It's like all the younger kids are in one world and everyone else is in another identical world. And somehow I got a peek into their world. My dad believes in parallel dimensions. It was his big idea. Look, she described this woman perfect. Her hair colour and everything, she couldn't have made it up. Says who? Maybe she found this before you. You didn't see them either. So, she made it all up. I'm stocking up on fresh food, then I'm going back to the hotel. I reckon Sadiq needs to hear about this. I knew no one would believe me. And now you don't either. Stupid name for a dog. 
Stupid Cupid. <laughs> Why is it Cupid? What's wrong? left a birthday present. Thanks, Dad. What? Doesn't it suit me? Not that. It's just... nothing. It looks great. Have either of you seen Holly? Holly? Let's turn here. Yeah. What's that? The pink light over there. What pink light? Oh, no, I'm not seeing anything. Reese, what's the matter? Maybe she's seeing things again. An adult. We're not on our own. I'm the one on my own, but not any longer. You tied her up. What's in the flask? The methane gas is released here, mixed with the ammonia here in this flask. Then it's heated up. Prussic acid? You're making prussic acid? Quite the little scientist, aren't you? But I'm the first-class chemist. That's Dora. Oh, yeah. You can't. If this works... It will work, I promise if you. If this works, it will produce hydrogen cyanide. Mmm, delicious. It's a deadly gas. You're mad. No, I'm desperate. And trust me, that's worse than mad, because I know exactly what I'm doing. You've got two hours to get me everything on that list. Medical masks. Sanitizers, prednisolone. Where do you expect us to find this in two hours? Hospitals, chemists, like I care. Why can't you get it yourself? Look at me, you stupid child. I can barely stand. If you need help, why didn't you just ask? The world's infested with children, and we all know children are utterly selfish and think of no one but themselves. One adult, and she's mad. Hang on. You'll be poisoned too. You can't be in the same room. Who says I need to be in the same room? I'll detonate it remotely. Why are you the only adult left? I don't know, just Dan. Lucky me. Two hours. If you're not back when the time's up, I'll detonate the experiment. I hope Jordan could find everything on the list. Why does she need all those drugs? Why is she still here? All the other adults have gone. Reese, we need to focus on Holly. She's in terrible danger and we need to figure out where Anita's holding her. But she could be anywhere. She mentioned Dora. Her boss, Professor Dora Petty. Doomsday Dora is my dad's colleague on the Spartacle project. He called her that because she was always... What? What is a cat? She was always talking about the end of the world as we know it. <laughs> you 
Wow. Laura's really into hearts. Look, this is her. It's Anita. Reese, look. Dora was really obsessed with Anita. The pink light I can see around Anita's heart. It's a heart chakra. What are you talking about? In Indian medicine, chakras are centers of spiritual energy. And because she's an adult, Anita should have one this colour. But she's got one this colour. A child's. Reese, not now. I can't help what I see, Kat. Just keeps happening and I don't like it. Any chickens? Oh, dead. All dead hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. Get that, he looks evil. It looks like he's had all the chicken seed, that's for sure. Yeah. Right. Jeff, you go to the left. Amy, you go to the right. I'm gonna cover centre. All right, Frankie and Liam, you'll be the sweepers. Yeah? We need to get that chicken to that corner near that chicken shed. It'll have escaped by the time you stop talking about it. Well, I don't see you helping. <laughs> Back to the Stone Age again, though, right? That makes you chief hunter-gatherer. On my word. What word? How about go? Cavemen have bigger brains. <laughs> Who knew chickens could run that fast? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't think that actually is a chicken shed. Huh? Run! We are! Oh, oh. oh no! Oh, oh. The keys! It's got the hotel keys! It's got the hotel keys! Oh. Careful, don't scare her. Oh no, look! Oh, she's not. She is. Quick! Put in that tent! Anita, I need some water. It's so hot in here. No, not until I get what I need. Is he a scientist too? Your fiance? You're wearing an engagement ring. Kyle's a computer brainiac. We're getting married in three weeks. That's great, Anita. What are you typing up now? Your wedding list. I'm inputting offline data from the Spartacle project. I've got to finish it before Dora comes back. Before they all come back. Right. Before they all come back. Because they will, won't they? 
Yeah, of course they will. Not that you'll be here to see it. They've got precisely 30 minutes left. Anita, what if Dora doesn't come back? What she doesn't and Carl doesn't? Nobody does. You'll be the only grown-up on Earth. And grown-ups are supposed to take care of kids. I'm a kid. Well, tough. I hate kids. You can't lump all kids together. That's just not fair. I mean... You were a kid once. Still am. In here. Right. That's what my grandma says. That she's still only a child inside. Anita, Anita. Cat, come look at this. Why has Dora got all these CCTV cameras? Isn't that Anita's room? Dora must have been spying on Anita. Uh, if that's where Anita sleeps, that's where she hangs out and that's where she works. Maybe that is the lab where she does her experiments and where she's holding Holly. Can you change the camera angle? Wait, look, isn't that Anita's dog? <sighs> it's B1, B2 or B3. It has to be. They're the only labs that back onto a field and Anita's dog has to go walkies, right? <sighs> Jordan's back! With reinforcements! OK, I'll go find them and we'll head straight to the lab. You figure out which one Holly's in. Have you got the stuff? No, no, I haven't. But why? She's going to blow Holly up. Mum says we can't negotiate with terrorists. That's why Anita is. What are we going to do? Dial 999 and ask for the police? We are the police. Where's Liam and Frankie? They're all right. They've got their hands full too. Let's go. <laughs> Watching this, you'll be a child. A child in a stilled world. You will be under 15 in a world without adults. And if my theory is right, my poor researcher, Anita, will be with you. The only adult left on Earth. Anita, what is it? It's my heart. I need my drugs. It'll stop without them. They've got 15 minutes left. Anita! Imagine our universe superimposed on top of another one. No. Imagine two cupboards. Oh, which way, Kat? I don't know. I can't remember where Dora's room is. Look, we've only got 15 minutes. We're running out of time. We're just going to have to go to the... The chemistry labs. Yeah. Cupid! Cupid! Cupid, come here! Control for that. And that is? Very, very dangerous if detonated by uh, that remote control. Anyone got a sweet? Come on. 
Come here, boy. It will produce hydrogen cyanide. Cyanide. Yeah, well, I didn't want to panic anyone. I'm too late. Way, way too late. Come here, boy. Leave. Leave. In our full cupboard, everything, us, the cars, the stars, the crisps, are made up of particles. And every particle has a matching or twinned particle you can't see. An invisible copy. Humans are the exception to this rule. Our heart chakras mean that our particles and sparticles can't be split and separated like the stars and cars. Come on, Cupid. Watch a wiggle tickle under the chin. <laughs> wiggle tickle. <laughs> He's got the remote. Cat, chase the dog. Let's get out of here. The about Anita? What about Anita? She tried to buy me up. on that if I were you. Too late. Get back! at your hotel if you ever need help. Or more drugs. Get real, she tried to kill me. Shut up, defect. Defect? Defect? No one's ever called me that. She gassed us. We nearly died because of her. But you were called it. You were bullied as a kid. Weren't you? I would have bullied me. I was a pathetic, sick, weenie kid. Always in and out of hospital. I know why you're sick. Your blue heart was poorly, so they gave you a new pink heart. And that's why you're still here. Because you've got a child's heart. Don't worry about her. And a child's heart chakra. She's right about my new heart. It belonged to a 14-year-old boy, but my body doesn't want it. Your heart transplant patient. That's what you meant about being a kid in here. Yeah. yeah okay. And why I take all the drugs to stop my body rejecting it. Reese couldn't have known that Anita was a heart transplant patient. But she saw she had a child's heart. It's just like it was in the library with that woman again. Don't be so gullible. She was reading through all that Dora woman stuff, wasn't she? She probably found out about it there. It's because 
us kids and need to have different heart shacks for the grown ups. That's why we're here. I've got Doomsday Dora's message on here. You'll see. No, you'll see when I tell the others about you and your pranks. Hey, what's she saying? Are you going then or what? Oh, and you could be a little bit grateful. Oh, for all the drugs that we got you and for maybe Jeffrey saving your life. No, he didn't. Did you really think I could create enough hydrogen cyanide in the right concentration to kill someone? It wasn't prusic acid. No, it was a harmless reaction. Didn't that occur to you when you all survived? You know, that small detail? A proper scientist accepts nothing unless presented with real evidence. Yeah, my dad says that. Dad? Professor Barker. Clever cat. I should have known. Cat's gonna do this, that, save the world. Or is it about you? Well, Daddy's girl, are you? Are you going to save the world? We've got to go to the Sparticle Project and realign parallel worlds. This one and the adults one. <laughs> Easy peasy. Bye, Anita. Clever cat. Good luck. I can't eat that. I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> We're not gonna eat her. We're gonna milk her. Well, not me, obviously, because I might break a nail. But at least we'll have some fresh milk to go with our eggs. Hey, that's my necklace. Matilda needs feathers to make her feel at home. Matilda? Matilda the hen. And Gretchen the goat. We need pets if we're going to be a proper family. 